Oh yeah, and and I saw a lot of them black comedians and black actors and black athletes speaking out. Oh, it couldn't have been me. It wouldn't. It couldn't have been me. It would, no, it could not have been you. Because in order to get to the Oscars, you have to be crossover famous. Black famous ain't gonna get you there. Let me say that one more time. Black famous ain't gonna get you to the Oscars. You ain't gonna even be a seat filler. Damn. So a lot of y'all talking about what you would have done. You wasn't even gonna be in the building, even with the brother talking about on site. Nigga, when are you gonna be in the same capacity or space as Will Smith? Just that's just the truth. Shit. So you don't want me to talk about it because then you want to get mad. Oh, the tranny saying this. The tranny gonna say what the fuck she gotta say. If you don't like it, okay, good. Please don't slap me. Please don't slap me. <laughs> well, nigga, if you say I say the same, if somebody Rick Drake gonna say Flame says the same jokes every day. Where if I say the same jokes every day, nigga, and you watching me every day, let me know what kind of life you live because nigga, you watching the tranny. I don't even know who the fuck you are. You don't know who you are. You ain't even got a profile picture of you, deadbeat bitch. You don't know who I am. I'm your daddy. Your mom was a hoe and a prostitute. She was selling pussy for seven dollars. I had six and a quarter. The bitch took it anyway, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> See, that's the kind of shit y'all say on stage, and then you want to slap a bitch. <laughs> yeah, please what, don't slap what, me. What Steve Harvey said is true about Will on some Hollywood what? shit. Wait, what? Thank you. Merci beaucoup, mademoiselle. Merci, Jacqueline. Merci beaucoup. Hi, Melinda. I saw J uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Uh, everybody gonna have an opinion, and everybody's entitled to have an opinion. What did, but what what you take the home, everybody should not wait, have wait, one. Wait, everybody wait, should. What did Kareem say about Kareem say about LeBron? Oh, uh, what did he say? He said that it wasn't. He he pretty much sided with Chris Rock and was like, uh, uh, "Will was wrong." Oh, I don't know what he said about LeBron. I thought you were talking about with Will Smith. Oh, what did, what did he say? About the Chris Rock thing, that, that it was that he handled it incorrectly. <laughs> he was wrong, you know. And a lot of people are keep forgetting. I'm like, y'all a man too. Y'all are just flesh and blood. You're not a fucking god. Everybody has a point, a trigger point. They didn't trigger the nigga because we'll never show the nigga, but they triggered the nigga that night, baby. And good God, when he was walking up, I'm gonna tell you what was gangster to me. Let me just tell you the sissy and me. When that nigga turned around and adjusted his vest and walked away, oh, oh God, I was so turned on. Symphony, I want to go through that TV like, come on, Will. <laughs> No, I can't lie. It was sexy because it's just like, yeah, all right. Let's you know, every woman in that audience, panties were soaked and the fags, drawers was on hard. Good God, <laughs> you know they was turned up because Will had Will Will had showed out. I'm like, come on, uh, wow, wow, West. Will basically, <laughs> yeah, I did what I just did. That's it. Wow. Yeah, that was. We uh, was all looking like, and we were all looking like this. What? Because I had took an edible. So when I'm looking at it in real time, because I went right live with Godfrey, it's like, that didn't really happen. That was a, a, I'm thinking that was a bit, a skit. Child, it was really, a, he slapped up for real. I was like, what? Was like, he didn't really do that, did he? Get the fuck out of here. I was like, he didn't do that, did he? Did I just see him smack? Nah. I know every gay man in the audience was sitting there like, ooh, let me get to the bathroom with Big Wheel. <laughs> <laughs> I can say it. I'm part of the community. So for y'all get mad, I can fucking say it. Now, I don't give a fuck. Now Will Smith is going to be in a new movie, Wild Wild West Side. <laughs> uh -uh, Will Smith, Will Smith, and Chris Rock will probably make Bad Boys Four together, and it will make a billion fucking dollars. It's just how Hollywood works. But people who aren't involved in that don't know. Yeah. All I know, it was a very weird. It just was weird. That was very strange. I feel like something's going on with Will, though, more than anything. There's well. nothing going on with that guy. And like you said, Flav, he's been the good Negro for a long time, and it's it's eating his soul up, man. It's eating him up. You know what I mean? He's he's dealing with inner something inner, man. That's what I think. Yeah. Yeah. i tell you what. I, I maybe 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 Jada got the Kardashian. Woo! Maybe she got that that smoke, baby. Yeah. Do you think they should be blaming Jada? I think Jada has something to do with it. Mm. I, oh, 
you a woman, uh, Stephanie, how you feel about that? We want a woman's perspective. They don't want my, I'm he, she, we. We want a female's perspective. <laughs> do you think as, do you think as a woman that Jada not egged it on, but with all the shit that's out and uh, because she has done most of the talking, we'll pretty much been, uh, do you think that she has a hand in this from a female perspective? Um, that, that's a loaded one. As far as the actual action that's being taken, like, cause I've been seeing people that are asking, you know, especially as a black woman, like, would you let your, your man get up? It's like, I, if, if I'm standing up with my man and he's about to get in an altercation and I can tell he's about to get in an altercation, I'm going to step in and be like, Hey babe, kind of chill. But in that instance, I, I mean, <laughs> Could she really have stopped him? No, I don't think so, unless she got up and made a scene, which would then probably make sense. But I feel like she has something to do with that. I mean, they have conversations, and I'm pretty sure he has a little bit more insight into how she feels. And, you know, what she I tell you what, a lot of these celebrities that's speaking on this situation shouldn't. Uh, uh, Zoe Kravitz, you tried to fuck the 14-year-old boy. Shut the fuck up. Uh, Jim Carrey, you gave that woman four STDs and she committed suicide. Nigga, you ain't got nothing to say. Nothing yeah, to wait, say. Wait, wait, wait. When Wanda Sykes said, oh, I'm traumatized, I was like, get the fuck out of here. We mean you traumatized. Look at my, look at my face. That's I'm, putting on two pairs of, I'm putting on two pairs of glasses so I can see that shit. Yeah, where you traumatize that? Because that ain't trauma. It's 94,000 women. 94,000 black and brown women missing in this country. And that goes unreported. That should traumatize you. Not yeah. no, not him slapping. It was, that was... Right. Shut up, Flame, my bro. You ain't got your one-hour deal yet. Shut the bad Flame. <laughs> People just Let me get my one-hour deal first, and then I'll tell y'all everything. People just talk words that, or I call them trigger words, like they'll be so quick to, oh, I'm traumatized or, oh, I have this, and it's just like, mm, what's the true definition of being traumatized? Thank, thank you, um, uh, what's her name, Regina Hall, for not being traumatized, because the other two claimed they was traumatized, and I'm going to give Amy Schumer a pass. Amy Schumer was really good hosting the Oscars. So was Regina Hall. Okay, I digress. <laughs> What is she traumatized about? She wasn't slapped. I know. Yeah, and Jada was laughing when he got slapped. I hope she went home and gave her husband some good good, though. She didn't. You said she didn't? Probably not. You don't think so? Oh, she went home and gave him some. I, I, I would have. I don't know about that one. My husband would have had a great night. Hmm. Okay. Look, man, too. <laughs> <laughs> you had a long day, here, baby. The way you, the way you went to that stage on my, because you felt you wanted to be on my behalf. Come here, baby. Let me take care of you, honey. I'm telling you something. I wouldn't have missed nothing. Yep. Melinda story say flame. Do not get me started, girl. I'm. I got Erica Alexander on my show Monday. We are gonna talk about it. Make sure y'all join me on Laugh and Learn Monday. <laughs> there. Maxine Shaw, attorney at law, baby. That was my bitch on in Living Single. That's dope. Uh, but yes, uh, uh, um, shit, Symphony, I definitely want to do the show. Girl, let me tell you what I had an issue with. I might as well put it out publicly. She said yes, it publicly. Yes, yes. So when I went to bat for, and I didn't go to bat for uh, Dave Chappelle, I went to bat for Flame Monroe because I'm transgender, I'm black, and I'm a comedian. So when that whole debacle happened with Dave and the community coming out to him, when Jamie Masada reached out to me, because he personally called me and asked me to make a video on behalf of Dave Chappelle or how I felt. Jamie Masada is the owner of the Laugh Factories. Okay. okay. So he personally called me with that bad English, but I love him. He's a good guy, good dude. He said, Flame, I think that you're the only person who could make a video about this because you it falls up under everything that you are. So I made the video. So when you guys were talking about it on the show, because you had reached out to my manager, um, Vanessa Fraction, who I know from Chicago, had the nerve to say that I was nut riding. I was just trying to get a leg up. Mind you, I have never spoken to Dave Chappelle in my life. Dave ain't never reached out to me. He, he had Gary Abdul reach out to me, who who uh, Godfrey knows. Gary he owns the he comedy owns, club. He owns the Atlanta. Yeah, Gary owns Atlanta. the comedy club in Atlanta. So he reached out to me, said, Flame, Dave wants you to do something with him in Ohio. But I caught COVID, so I couldn't go. 
And so when she said that, that nut writing, I'm like, girl, you got a lot of nerve. Don't you know I know your history as a comedian back in Chicago, which is why you only on, no no, no dig to your show, Comedy Hype, bitch, if you don't knock it off. So I don't want to come on the show because I'm telling you, if I get mad at Vanessa, I'm going I'm to dissect her ass. She thinks she good. The sissy in me won't let her get away with anything. Mm, so no, don't don't put out that I was nut riding because I didn't need to nut ride on anybody. Tiffany Haddish made sure of that when she put me on they ready. Yeah, I was wondering when you said there was somebody. I was like, who? Like I was trying to go back and think like who? I know Pierre already. Me and that nigga talk all the that, time. I've never met I've never he, met uh, what's the other guy's name? Capone Capone. I've never met Capone. I don't know Capone. I mean, I've heard of him from years ago, but I've never met him. But I knew Vanessa. For the fact that she would say some shit like that, girl, it took everything I had not to go live and just roast her ass. But well, it me, wasn't worth it. Would you be interested in having a conversation with her at all? No, not at all. When she gets to my level, then yes. But right now, she's not. So goodbye. <laughs> so you're not going to have a conversation? No, because I, I I'm not gonna go back and forth on how you feel about what you feel. You didn't if you would have wanted to know me, she knows me. She's spoken to me. She has my phone number, I think, because I ain't changed my phone number in 18 years. Mm -hmm. She could have called me. Don't go on because you're trying to get some clickbaits because of your little job. I did say your little job and trying to attack mother, because mother claps back and mother claps nasty. Mother claps very nasty. I know lots of her history, all that climbing to the top of her tree and her material to get to the good man. Let me talk about the low-hanging fruit niggas that you started with, though. Please, I, I sat in the green room with the bitches and with the niggas. See, that was good of being hishiwi. I know all of the stories. I know all the stories. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Yo. Damn, okay, so fuck comedy hype. That's why I didn't come on the hey, show. Hey, yo, hey, yo. God, we, we want to take it. Hey, relax, relax there, Toots. Relax. Flame, let me tell you what, Godfrey. Hey, relax, comedy right there, uh, yo. Flame, let me relax, Barbara. Wal re relax, Barbara Walters. Okay. Flame, let me tell you what Godfrey told me. We uh, when I when we had got off the live with you, we're at Starbucks. Somebody came up to Godfrey. Hey, let me, let me take a picture. So I'm kind. I'm like, oh, let me take a picture. Godfrey gonna look at me, tell him, relax, relax, just relax. <laughs> It's, 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 okay, people recognizing you, and okay, excuse me, sir. But let me tell you how let me tell you how dope Godfrey is, though, Symphony. So when we were on tour with Tiff, the first arena we worked, I had never worked an arena. I had never worked a massive stage. My mistake was not going to see the stage first. So uh, we were in Vegas, and I went out, and my set was there. It was just mad. Because I was overwhelmed by the whole stage. And Garvey took me in the back. He said, you can't work the whole fucking room. It's a goddamn supermarket. Work the first two rows and the rest of the resonate. Every show at that, because I was on five of the six of the 10 city tour. Every show at that went great. And this is what I'm saying. As another comic, when you see something that will help the other comic, we need to be able to intake that as a comic that they're teaching you. They're helping you to have a better show. They're helping you to be a better comic. I didn't take that like, oh, you ain't better than me. You don't do that. I took it like, teach me, help me. I'm always going to be a student of stand-up because until I die, like, what's his name? That bang, 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 bang. That nigga worked till he died. That nigga worked till he died. Bob yeah. Saget worked till he died. As a comedian, you that's the option that you have. But when you stop taking information from other comics, younger or older or same age, and they, they see something that you don't see, that's when you kind of stop. That's when you like, okay, I reached my, I didn't reach my seal and I can't go no higher because I'm not willing to learn and I'm willing to learn. All, all comics won't do that though. All comics won't do that. A lot of them won't they just let you fail. A lot of comics won't even let you go on to open for them if they feel like you funny to them because it's going to make you work. Nigga, that should make you step up your game. Like, nigga, go ahead. Let me tell you something. I never worry about who going on stage in front of me because Paul Mooney told me before he died, it don't matter who you're on the stage with. Bitch, they going to always remember the sissy in the dress. So guess what? The sissy wear pretty dresses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's um. And, and the words worked because the next show we did, which was the very next night, I went and killed. And every show after that, I killed because Garvey showed me what I was missing because I didn't know. He said, "Always look at the stage and don't try to work the whole room." And we were at the 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 T-Mobile station. Or something. It, it was enormous. I was overwhelmed. It looked like Costco times ten. I tore that bitch down. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. <laughs>
you got to play it like it's small. Don't worry about the rest of the motherfuckers. That's not how you do it. Because really, comedy is not even supposed to be that big. Honestly. No, it's, it's really intimate. Yeah. The art form is intimate. So play it intimate. Play it intimate. You know what I'm saying? Play it intimate and it'll, don't worry about the rest. You understand? So that's what I, that's yeah. what I, I said. And then she, and Flame went in there and bang, 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 pop. Wow. But that first one in Vegas was kind of like, and Gabby's like, you was right. trying to ho work the whole room. Okay. I was like, he was like, oh. fuck That's that. Even if you got a focal point, it's if, even if it's a, if you have one person you're talking to, fucking talk to them like, bop, 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 